Hi y'all. I, I built a suey feeder for the birds, you know, this, this stuff here. I looked at them at the store and uh, I didn't like the ones I saw at the store. They, the ones I saw it didn't have a place for the birds to land. So I, I figured I'd try building my own. So this is what I come up with. I got a flat piece of wood. You got got a flat piece of wood here. And I got two pieces of two by four here. And then I had this old screen laying around. I, I just uh, I rounded off one end here and stapled it onto the back of here. And then this end I couldn't get in there to staple it in there. So I just use those uh, those uh, round staples here to hold that onto here. Uh, bottom's pretty simple. I just got the screw going in the bottom. And uh, that just screws down into a pole. And then this part here, I'll, I'll pound a metal pole in the ground and just slide that down into the pole. Got some old poles sitting out back. This here is just a one inch piece of wood. Uh, this stuff here. And I, I chopped it in half. And just use small nails put, to nail it to the board. This thing here, that probably wasn't necessary, but uh, that's what I ended up doing. I didn't really know where I was heading with it. I just kind of didn't have no plans, just kind of went at it. it. Took about an hour or so. I'm working on top. I've got a piece of wood to go on top. This is the fancy part. That's why I figured I'd film this. And it got two holes in the top. So I thought about just putting nails in here and chopping off the heads, but uh, I figured I'd get these, get these things here. I, I got these at Lowe's. Here, I'll show, I'll show them to you. So what are called? Wood Madeira? I don't know. They're, they're, uh, they're screws. They're big screws that you would screw into here. And then they got threads on this end. So then I, then I got these nuts. Okay. So now we're going to do this part. I set this down on here. Lined it up the best I could with the ruler. And then I just used a black magic marker to, to go around the wood. I'm going to have to line that back up here. can't really see it down there. You can see it a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. I think that's close enough. So then these just go down in here. Okay, you don't have a way to turn these things. So what you can do is put the put the wing nut on on there and use that to drive the screw in. I don't know if I have another nut that big. There. Ok, 
Yeah, I got lucky there. Okay. So I, I got the two spots marked. So now I'm going to uh, drill some holes to get them started. Okay, so if I try this out here, put this down on there. See, I, I want to see how far that goes down. <clears throat> so I'll just mark that a little bit here. So it, it gives me about a quarter inch there. So, so there, that's, that's fine. So I can tighten this up and it stays on there. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring that down just a little farther. Oh. <laughs> it won't go out with the bolts, right? enough. <clears throat> so 
So I got me a suet feet, suet feeder here. And now I, I I think I put that in there. I think they'll be able they'll be able to get to it. Well, they could do something here to wire that together so it's it's real close for them. Okay. These things, I got these on a back porch board. I always lose them in the grass. They're only like 50 cents, dollar. That way I don't have to worry about it getting blown away. Okay, there's the finished suey feeder. Sassy likes to watch them birds. Get them birdies. Get them 